Hello everyone, it's Dr. Elijah Van Dusen again with today's three minute health talk. Today I'm gonna to address some questions that a lot of people have about chiropractic and uh, answer them for you. So one question I get a lot is, do I have a slip disc? What is a slip disc? Well, discs don't actually slip out of place because they're ligaments, tendons holding them in place. However, they can get compressed, they can get damaged, they can get worn out, and that can all cause decreased motion between the spinal bones, and it can also cause a lot of pain. So uh, chiropractic adjustments enable the discs to heal and space between the vertebrae to increase, so there's less likelihood of uh, the discs actually damaging more and wearing out more. Another question I get is, uh, do I have a pinched nerve? People ask me that all the time. Well, nerves don't actually literally get pinched, but what happens is if two bones go out of place and uh, we call that a subluxation, by the way, in chiropractic. Then what can happen is inflammation can occur and that can put pressure on the, the, the nerves and kind of chafe them, kind of rub them like sandpaper, and that causes pain and decreased functioning uh, to wherever those nerves go. Another question is, how do I get subluxations? How do bones in my spine actually go out of place and not work right, get stuck, in other words? Well, it happens through several different ways, but most commonly it's Physical stress, mental stress, and chemical stress. Physical stress is obvious. It can be car accidents. It can be slips and falls. It can be sports injuries or just bad posture while sitting in front of your computer all day at work for eight, nine hours a day. Emotional stress is another factor. If you're really stressed and you have a lot on your mind, are your muscles relaxed? Is your posture good? No, typically it isn't, and that creates a lot of pressure on the spine, pulling out of alignment and creating subluxations. Chemical stress is another one. Um, Chemical stress is eating a bad diet, not drinking enough water, having a lot of toxicity in um, your environment, taking a lot of drugs, both uh, le legal and illegal, although now um, uh, it's more and more prescription drugs that are the culprit and toxifying the body. This also causes stress on the spine and causes the spine to subluxate. How do you know if you have a subluxation? Well, subluxations can occur in your body even without any pain, without any symptoms. As a matter of fact, pain is the last thing that actually comes on the scene and um, creates a problem when you have subluxation. So you should ideally get checked by your chiropractor way before you start having symptoms. Can subluxations clear up on their own? Um, well, typically this doesn't happen because subluxations are due to bones that are pretty stuck in place and not moving at all. So typically what happens is joints around tend to compensate, they become hypermobile, they move more than the stuck areas and the areas that are stuck or subluxated just get more and more stuck all the time. They degenerate more, they develop more scar tissue and as a result uh, the problem just gets worse and worse and that's when it's time to get adjusted by your chiropractor. Anyway, I hope this helps and have a great day. Bye-bye.